Hello, everyone, and welcome from the CETO Foundation. I'm Gail Culp, Executive Director of the CETO Foundation, and I'm here to help you get ready for National Safe Boating Week. This is going to be recorded, so if you need to go back and see something, it'll be available. We also have a resource kit featuring the images, social media posts, and details that will be available by May 7th on BoatingSafety.com. So without further ado, let's get into the presentation. The first question we usually get is what is National Safe Boating Week? It's a week long event that focuses on boating safety prior to the start of the summer boating season. While we recognize that many areas of the US have already started boating, some all the way back in the winter, the Memorial Day weekend really kicks off the summer boating season. So National Safe Boating Week aims to get the safety messaging out before that weekend. There are three main goals for this week to inspire agencies, companies, municipalities, organizations, and people who support us to talk about boating safety, to attract the attention of the media and the general public. Basically, the more people we have sharing our messages, the more attention we can get from the general public and the media. So when is National Safe Boating Week? Well, it's usually and always the week before Memorial Day weekend. It's a seven day period. This year, that week is May 22nd to 28th. The bonus day, as you see on the calendar with the smiley face, is the Friday before May 21st. And that is where your life jacket to work day. We'll have more on that in just a second, but go ahead and mark your calendars now. Wear your life jacket to work day is May 21st. And there's two ways you can participate. The first is that you can set up a photo shoot anytime between now and Friday, May 14th, and take a photo alone or with your coworkers or team. It's okay to wear a mask in the photo because that's part of what we'll remember for the 2021 National Bo Safe Boating Week. But that decision is ultimately up to you as to whether you wear your mask or not, and depending on who you're with. The big thing is to make sure that you're wearing a life jacket and that it's worn correctly. That means it's buckled and or zipped up, and if it's an inflatable life jacket, that it's buckled. You can take the photo with a cell phone, so it doesn't have to be a really big deal. Once you get your photo taken, please email or text the photos to me at gail at boatingsafety.com, or you can text them to me at 631-876-5077, and do that by May 14th. That way I can put all of the photos together in collages and post them all day long on Friday, May 21st on Facebook and Instagram for Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day. The second option, if you're not able to do that in time, is to take your photos on the actual Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day on May 21st and then post them to Facebook or Instagram. Please tag the CETO Foundation at CETO Foundation and use the hashtags NSBW21 for National Safe Boating Week 2021 and hashtag boating safety. So there's lots of different ways you can participate in National Safe Boating Week, but I've really drilled it down to two. The first is that we're going to have daily social media posts and blog posts that are already written and ready to be copied and used on your own social media pages. You can tag the CETO Foundation and use those hashtags NSBW21 and hashtag boating safety. Again, that resource kit will be available at boatingsafety.com starting May 7th. The other option is take the posts that are gonna be posted on the CETO Foundation's inst Instagram and social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and share them on your own page each day. Doesn't get any simpler than that. So here's a preview of some of the topics that we'll be covering over National Safe Boating Week. The first is about carrying an EPIRB or PLB and, that it, and how it can save lives during an on-water emergency by alerting rescuers to the position of the people who need it. We'll have a blog post about the details of how PLBs and EPIRBs work, what those acronyms mean, and how to register them. The second day of National Safe Boating Week will be all about the engine cutoff switch and how it saves lives by turning off the propeller when someone driving the boat leaves the helm or if a passenger falls overboard if you're using a wireless 
option. And with the new law that took effect on April 1st, it's even more important to talk about this topic. Day three of National Safe Boating Week reminds boaters about filing a float plan and how it can assist those looking for them if they don't arrive back when originally scheduled. A float plan can be as simple as a post-it note like the one shown in the graphic, a text message, or it can be a detailed form. The important thing is that it's done. And again, the daily blog post will have lots more details on that. The fourth day of National Safe Boating Week is all about our Sober Skipper program or Sober Skipper campaign. This is our goal to help eliminate boating under the influence, accidents, and fatalities. And the CTO Foundation has lots of free items that you can order to promote this or use as free giveaways. And I'll have more about that in a minute. Day five is all about taking a boating safety course. And this is a really easy way to help get a boater ready for the start of the boating season. We know that educated boaters are safer boaters and many insurance companies will give boaters a discount when they complete a course. There'll be a lot more details, including some links in the daily blog post. Day six is all about life jackets, why wearing them is important, how there are different designs and sizes, and we also talk about the life jacket loaner program. This is a great time to highlight if you have a life jacket loaner station or if you're planning to open one this year as well. And you can even include your own photos. And the last day of National Safe Boating Week is a reminder to renew CETO memberships for another year as the perfect way to start the boating season. There's advantages that go beyond just the 24 seven towing support. And we wanna make sure that boaters are aware of all that that entails. So inside the media kit or the resource kit is a press release template. And we wanna get the word out about boating safety in your local press and have that template available for you. Again, that resource kit will be available starting May 7th. And that will include the press release template, the daily blog post, the images, and the social media posts. And all of that will be at BoatingSafety.com. But you can use the press release for lots of different things. You can use it for the new Life Jacket Loaner stations that might be opening up this year. You can talk about new safety equipment that you might wanna show off, or you can talk about a new boating safety course offering that you might be helping to teach. Include photos and offer to set up an interview when you send out the press release to your local media. If you don't hear back, follow up in one to two days so that you can make sure that they're aware that you want to get this done. When you talk to the local media, it's important to contact both your local radio, your TV, and your newspapers. Offer to be available during National Safe Boating Week for interviews, video, and photo opportunities. If you're comfortable doing so, you can even offer a ride along during this week to the media. But again, that's a comfort level up to you and whether or not you have a boat available. You can also offer to showcase the safe boating techniques and have a second person on land to explain it to the camera in terms of what is happening. That way it's showcasing it while you're social distancing. Don't forget to tell the news media that the coverage and footage that they get on that day can also be used later in the summer as B-roll footage. So make sure the media knows that as well. A great way to multiply the National Safe Boating Week message is by partnering with a local group. Partnerships opportunities exist with CETO captains, local Coast Guard Auxiliary, America's Boating Club or Power Squadron, Safe Kids organizations, the fire and police departments, scouting groups, or any other group that might be hosting an event later this summer. But take the time to announce it now during National Safe Boating Week. The event could offer vessel safety checks, having a take the pledge event for Sober Skipper, a summer fa safety fair where some other summer activities like bike riding, swimming, or hiking might be included, how to properly fit a child with a life jacket, or you can even talk about how to ride and operate a boat safely. Just make sure you invite the media and take lots of pictures. And again, we can help you with a press release for these. 
I talked about free materials that are available and wanted to make sure you knew where to get them. They are all available on our store at boatingsafety.com slash store. These include Sober Skipper wristbands and floating keychains that are available. Wristbands come in packs of 100 and keychains come in packs of 25. You can also find free printable items. You get a downloaded file and then you can print as many as you want locally for free. These include the top 10 boating safety tips, the first mate checklist, and how to choose the correct children's life jacket infographic. Again, all of these are free, but we have lots of other items available on our online store as well, both free and paid. So check it out today at boatingsafety.com slash store. Lastly, we want to let you know that you can come up with your own idea to promote boating safety. We really value your creativity. Make sure the air idea highlights boating safety. Contact me if you need any help in planning, but please do so at least three weeks out so that we have plenty of time to get stuff together. And chances are tools are already available, but if they're not, we can work on making some graphics and tools available for you for this. And last, we want you to be creative. Have fun and take lots of pictures. And if your idea is a success, we can write up a report and let others know about it so that more people can take advantage of it themselves. You can also get more National Safe Boating Week resources for free from the National Safe Boating Council, www.safeboatingcampaign.com. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. And I wanted to let you know that I'm always standing by if you have any questions. My phone number is on the screen and my email. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you so much.